Tim Gurner told the Australian 60 Minis that millennials aren't able to own homes as much as previous generations because they eat much too much avocado toast. Now he said when he was trying to buy his first home that quote, he wasn't buying smashed avocados for $19 each and four coffees uh, at $4 each. Now millennials around the world did what we always do. We took to Twitter to hash it out, tweeting back the various reasons why people are having trouble buying a home. One user actually kind of broke down their budget, saying that they spend $800 a month on rent, $500 a month on student loans, $300 a month for health insurance, $100 for medicine, $0 for avocado toast. But oh, I must be just a jaded millennial. Now, why is it so hard for millennials to buy a home these days? Well, there's really three main reasons. One, slow rising wages, uh, which are contributing to that. Small increases from year to year make it difficult to save money. Also, rising rent prices. Now, rental prices here in the area are pretty high, at least according to the national average. In the Washington Metro, the average rent is $2,100 a month. And of course, there's student loan debt. The average student has about $30,000 in student loan debt, according to the Institute of College and Access and Success. So those three things combined contribute to the difficulty it is or how making it challenging for millennials to purchase homes. So when uh, people kind of throw cheap shots like that, kind of makes you frustrated, especially when you know you have a lot of lot stacked against you when it comes to trying to get your first home. Guys? Well, it's expensive to live here, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys like? Okay. Because my household spends way too much at Starbucks. We're guilty and we're not millennials. <laughs> there you go. Maggie, I mean, like, yeah, so Maggie, it doesn't matter. He's outing you right now because <laughs> she you, knows. You, you said We've had this conversation.